I think there's so much stigma connected to being a woman in the 30s and early into early 40s that you're something like somehow flawed or yeah. that something wrong with you or like why aren't you settled down with a man or whatever that is and I think that's bullshit yeah. <laughs> and at first it was like kind of silly right um but she wouldn't stop and it became kind of a family joke uh, because I thought it was a personally ridiculous idea. But as I was out and about in my life, I started to have all these points of connection to him. Like everywhere I would go, it would be a degree apart of separation. Oh my gosh. Again and again and again and again. So I started to be like, what is happening here? <laughs> There's something to this, like, no, 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 but, but maybe I had a bit of self-reflection where I was like, gosh, the past few years have been really hard and this connects to the relationship stuff. Um, and my content has been kind of bleak. And so I felt this real sense of need to like, get back in touch with the girl who I felt like I used to be mm. when I was singing and dancing in New York City and like just light and comedic and I felt like I had lost her. It's kind of an intersection between this pursuit of this idea of, uh, you know, Pr Prince Charming Jake Gyllenhaal butted up against the experiences that I've had as a single woman and the struggles of like trying to find happiness and fulfillment mm. and success along the way. Day. We're going to be talking about your play, Marrying Jake Gyllenhaal. Am I saying your <laughs> husband's name correctly? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. <laughs> and it's going to be your last name as well.